That's just a totally normal camera. No, it's not. It's got this weird lens on the front of it. Hello, I'm here in our basement office. What in the world? All right, I'm coming. I wonder who it is today. Hello? Oh wow, what's this? Lawa. This is weird, it looks like it's a combination thing. I wonder if it's just zero, zero, zero. Yes, it is. Zero. 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 Oh wow, it's the Venus Optics Laua 24mm probe lens. How great. When I hear probe lens, I think of aliens and doctors. I think it all stems from the fact that I was... I was probed. Recently we got this lens because we found out that this lens can do some weird stuff. Stuff that a normal lens could only dream of doing. This is unique because it is a wide angle macro lens, 24 millimeters, and it can focus right up to the barrel of the lens. The build quality of this lens is pretty good. It's all metal, and the whole front part of it, up until this uh, USB connector right here for the light, this whole part, waterproof. So, <laughs> this is the first lens I've ever had that has a light on the end of it. Kind of crazy, you know? Um, so the reason why this is so important is because the f-stop on this lens goes from f14 to f40. And so if there isn't enough light, you definitely need this on the front of the lens. We decided with this lens to do some tests. And first we thought, you know, we've seen a lot of cool videos online where they've gone through books and brooms and socks and stuff. And there's a lot of cool videos out there with some really impressive footage from this lens. But what we decided to do was mimic some of these Cheerio commercials we've seen on TV where the Cheerios are falling into the bowl right around the lens. And the reason why we decided to use this lens in particular is the front element is so small that that falling motion will be very exaggerated. Most lenses, you just won't get that same effect because the lens is so wide. Something about this cereal commercial that I'm proud of is I've heard for years that whenever they film cereal, they always use glue. We actually used real milk. We didn't cheat at all with any of these shots. We literally just poured the cereal into the bowl, poured the milk into the bowl, and uh, spooned it out. And so we didn't use any cheap uh, fake food tricks. One great thing with macro filming and photography is that regular lights, when you bring them in really close, they get a lot brighter than normal. So we had one 300D from Aperture that we brought in maybe a foot away from the bowl of cereal. And it was all the light we needed. We even were able to diffuse the light and we still had enough light. The reason why we bought this lens is it's super unique and there's nothing else like it. And it adds an interesting perspective. Now, when you use this lens, it's definitely a statement. This isn't a, a normal perspective.
For the mushroom shot, we ended up getting on a slider and pushing the camera in. And uh, we ended up reversing the shot and having it pull out so you can see this crop of mushrooms growing. And then for the sliding shot, we actually didn't use the slider at all. I just panned the camera and the front of the lens made it look like it was a slider shot. That awesome parallax effect. This lens almost makes some of our shots look computer animated because I've seen so many commercials where uh, there's, a, there's a computer animated object like a phone and the camera is in a super close perspective and it makes the object look huge. And that's what this does. And so it almost gives this unworldly computer animated feel to some of the shots. Pretty cool. One thing that we discovered when we started filming was this lens has some white balance issues. Our lights were set to 5500. But to white balance correctly with this lens, our camera was set to 3400. The reason why we chose to use this camera in particular is because uh, the frame rate, we can do 120 frames at 4K. And I love the colors on the Ursa cameras. So this lens retails at $1,500. And because it's a specialty lens that won't be used all the time, it, it could be a lens that could be rented, quite honestly, for most people. I think uh, that would be a great option. If you didn't like this video, please unsubscribe. If you didn't like anything I said at all, please give us the thumbs down. And if you wanna leave a weird comment about probe lenses, feel free. I'm pretty sure everyone would love to read your comments.